Welcome back. In this step, let's install Python and get up and running with it. Installing Python is really a cakewalk. The PDF guide has instructions on how you can install Python and how you can launch up the Python shell. It's actually quite simple. All that you need to do is type in Python download and go to this page. Once you are on this page, you can download the Python version for your specific operating system. In this course, we would be using Python 3. And if you're on Windows, all that you need to do is say download, go to Windows and make sure that you're downloading a 3 dot star version. So the latest one which I see here is 3.7. That's good. You need to download the Windows x86 64 executable installer. Make sure that you are choosing the right file. So executable installer is what you need to choose and click on it. And this would start a download. If you're on Mac, all that you need to do is go to the Mac OS X link and download the latest 3.7 or the 3.6 release. So you can download Mac OS 64 bit installer. So if you click this, this would start a download. Once we have downloaded the exe or the package file, you can browse to it in your download folder and install it by double clicking the exe or the package. So just double click on it and the installation should launch up. A quick word of caution, on Windows, make sure that you have the checkbox add Python 3.6 to path checked. So this checkbox in here, add Python 3.6 to path, make sure that you check this box. By default, it would be unchecked. Make sure that you check it and then click install now. I would recommend you to take all the defaults and go ahead, keep clicking next and next and next until you see the success screen. Once you have installed Python, we can launch up the Python 3 shell. If you're on Windows, you just need to type in CMD command. If you're on Mac, launch up terminal. Once you have launched up your command prompt or terminal, all that you need to type in is a very, very simple command. If you're on Mac, type in Python 3 and you should see something like this come up. If you're on Windows or any other operating system, then the command you need to type at the command prompt is Python. You don't need the 3. So for Mac, it's Python 3. For Windows and other operating systems, it's Python. Once you type that command in, you should see Python 3.6 present in here. Any version of Python 3 should be good for doing this course. Once you do this, then you're all set. This is how you launch a Python shell. Whatever you're looking at here is a shell. And over here, you can type in commands. So I can say print 5 into 4. And it shows 20. You can execute the code and the shell would immediately give you output. Using the Python shell is an awesome way to learn Python. And that's what we'd be doing in the first few sections of the course. If you are able to successfully get here, you're all set to go on further with this course. If you're having a problem and you are not able to launch up Python, you can try installing the whole thing again. And if you're on Windows, make sure that you check the add Python 3.6 to path checkbox. I hope you had a nice time installing Python and I'll see you in the next step. Until then, bye-bye.